Welcome. Don't let my sultry and mysterious voice startle you. For hundreds, nay, thousands, nay, 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 tens of thousands of years, people have come to me in search of what they desire most. Few find what they are looking for, even fewer ever leave. Welcome to the cave. That's me, the cave. Yes, yes, I'm a talking cave. Don't laugh. It makes dating hell. Besides, I have a really interesting story to tell you this evening, so pay attention. It's a story of seven people and a glimpse into a dark place in each of their hearts. But be careful before you judge. There is a dark place in your heart as well. Someday you will find yourself descending my depths in search of what you desire. And you might not like what you find either. But enough about you. This is about them. The Hillbilly. On this fine night, he searches for his true love. But does desire burn too brightly in his heart? Hm, the night. He is on a quest for a sword of unequaled power and prestige. But will he find it before anyone else gets hurt? Ah, the Time Traveler. She is here to right a wrong a million years in the making. Fortunately for her, yesterday is a new day. The Scientist. She is on the cusp of a great discovery for all of humankind. And a hundred million lives hang in the balance. Oh, the adventurer. She is hot on the trail of her lost companions and unequaled ancient treasure. But not necessarily in that order. The twins. They just want to go outside and play. What could be more innocent than that? Ah, the monk. He seeks his master so he can become the master. It's a journey filled with peace and enlightenment. And murder. <laughs> I'm sorry. You break it, you buy it, just saying. 
I don't think that bridge has been safety tested with more than two people. Careful, if that bridge breaks, there might be no way back up. And by if, I mean when that bridge breaks. <laughs> Who am I kidding? Oh, 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 I hope you're not here to visit the cave, because we, we, we're closed. A gruesome and horrific accident has occurred, and there's no way we can open. No way. I shudder to even describe to you what has transpired. For the nightmares will forever haunt your every thought. Well, if you insist. When I came in, we had no trinkets to sell in the gift shop. <laughs> You know, there is a way I could reopen, allowing you fine adventurers to partake in the unique experience that only the cave has to offer. I just need three small trinkets to sell. Just three. Let me say that number again. Three. Take this giant novelty-sized key. It's cute, isn't it? Open the employee's back entrance. I'm sure you'll find some treasures worthy of the cave's gift shop. a funny little man, isn't he? I should probably fire him. I think he's dipping into the till.
There's no dying in the cave. At least not this soon. So much left for them to learn. You know, the truth is, I can't let anyone die in here because of what it would do to my insurance rates. Okay, I think they're just dying for fun now.
Like I said, there's no dying in the cave. That's one trinket, a far cry from three. Ah, trinket numero two. Ah, the third glorious trinket. I have to say, you have surprised me. I figured you'd give up after one. Uh -oh. oh, right. Sorry. 